Hello there lovely viewers. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to play Daisy on modded servers. I know that a lot of you out there will already know how to play on modded servers, but some people who have been watching on Twitch always ask the question, how do I start playing on modded servers? Also, this may be for people that have been playing Daisy up until now on, on a console and have finally made the switch to PC. Well done. In order to, to start, uh, we're going to need to download a new program. The default program, which is when you launch DayZ, comes up with its own launcher, with its own mods and stuff, but this can all be very confusing. There is a much simpler way. And today, you're going to be downloading DayZ Standalone Launcher. All you have to do is go into Google and search DayZ, DZ, SA Launcher. Go to the first website, you'll be presented with the lovely screen in front of you and click the download and install button. Very complicated. Once you have installed the program and opened it, you will be presented with a window like this. Wow. Complicated? No, not really. In fact, this is actually incredibly simple. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to navigate to settings over on the top right. From here, you're going to want to navigate to where you have Daisy installed. By default, this is going to go into your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Daisy. There we go. Once that is done, you can leave all of these settings as they are. I've put no pause in as an additional parameter, but that is not necessary if you don't want to. I have set my in-game name, Jippy, just like my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also selected Run as Admin. Uh, if you remember my previous video, which I had done about uh, streaming on OBS, there was an issue with black screens. So by enabling run as admin on the game and also on OBS when you are streaming, you won't get that black screen problem. The way it works is the launcher uses uh, Steam. Big surprise there, you need Steam to be able to launch DayZ. But uh, on Steam, there is the workshop. The workshop is where most people have created, a lot of people have created mods to uh, be played on Daisy and other games. Um, in order to join servers, typically you would have to go on and manually search through the workshop and download all of the mods which were required to enter onto a server. Confusing. By using the DZSA launcher, you can do it much easier. Basically, once you load up, you find your server which you want to connect to. In this case, I'm going to be connecting to one of the Spaggy servers. So I will go in here and type in Spaggy. Wonderful servers, by the way. And we're going to be playing on one of the hardcore servers of Namausk. This is a modded map, so you're going to need to be downloading this through the workshop. All you have to do is click on the play button. Obviously, you're checking to make sure that you have enough player space. Click the play button play server, and you will get a window popping up saying that these mods are missing from your installation directory. All you have to do is click the OK button, and in the mod section, you will get subscribed automatically to the workshop mods, and they will begin downloading automatically on Steam. You also see the progress bar on the DayZ SA launcher. Fantastic. Once all of these have downloaded, obviously it may take some time, especially with modded maps, we can go on to the next step. There we go. We now have all of the, the modded uh, requirements downloaded. They're subscribed. So basically any updates which will happen on any of these mods when you open Steam will be automatically downloaded. We can now go back to the servers window. We will find the server which we want to join. Again, Spaggy's Namalask Hardcore 1. Click the play button, hit play, and away you go. You will join the server, the game will load with all of the appropriate mods required for this modded server, and you will be able to play. Uh, you have other functionality on here, obviously, for the search requirements. You can click the star to favorite your favorite servers. You can then filter them, play it on. You can search for specific maps, which are available for DayZ if you wanted to find servers like that. It's a fantastic little program. It's incredibly simple. And I don't think that enough people use it. Um, and that's it. Nice, easy way to get onto modded servers. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, like and subscribe would always be appreciated. I also stream live on Twitch. Jippy UK is the name. 
and uh, I look forward to making my next tutorial video for you. Goodbye.